to Car Maintenance. Today, we're going to be having a look at the audio cassette you receive when you purchase a brand new Ford Fairlane LTD, Ford Fairmont or Ford Fairmont gear. Now, this is an owner's cassette. This is uh, an introduction on all the mod cons and all the extra bits and pieces you get and that are brand new when you purchase this car back in 1996, over 20 years ago. So, let's have a look. So we're going to have a little bit of a play and uh, see what she tells me. Thank you for choosing a Fairmont, Fairmont Gear, Fairlane Gear or LTD as your new vehicle. You have selected a prestige vehicle designed and built to provide enjoyment and satisfaction for many thousands of kilometres. As you become familiar with your new vehicle's equipment and features, you'll start to appreciate the abundance of driving pleasure this very latest Ford offers. This audio cassette provides an introduction to some of those features. We recommend that you refer to your owner's manual for more detailed information if you need it. On this side of the cassette, we take you through the advanced smart lock security system and explain the operation and function of many of the controls you see around you. On side two of the tape, we run through the audio system controls. First, a few words about the cassette player. While you're listening to this tape, you can pause the cassette by pressing the button marked Tape to the right of the cassette door. To resume listening, press the tape button again. To review a section of the cassette, rewind the tape by pressing the... It does work. Three. To fast forward the tape, press preset button 5. To eject the cassette, use the button located on the left hand side of the cassette door. Vehicle security is an important consideration these days. It's an issue our engineers have addressed in a very innovative way. Your new Ford is equipped with Smart Lock. You'll be pleased to know it's arguably the most effective anti-theft security system available on any vehicle today. One of the reasons why this system is so effective is you don't have to remember to switch it on. Smart Lock works in conjunction with the high security Tibby ignition key. Shortly after you remove the key from the ignition, the engine of your vehicle is immobilized completely and automatically. It's virtually impossible for anyone without the key to start the car. Your new Ford is equipped with a central door locking system. The electronic keypads that come with your sets of ignition and glove box keys have buttons to lock and unlock the doors and also to lock and unlock the tailgate on Fairmont wagons. Please note, you can use the keypad to unlock the boot on sedans, but the keypad cannot be used to lock it. From inside the vehicle, the doors can be unlocked by either pressing the central door lock switch to the left of the steering column, or by simply operating a door handle. The sedan luggage compartment can be opened from inside the vehicle using the button to the right of the ignition switch. For security reasons, this switch is active only when the ignition switch is in the on or accessories position and for about 10 minutes after the ignition has been turned off. Good idea. When you use the keypad to lock your vehicle by remote control, if you hear the horn sound for a few seconds, not quite as loud as normal, check to make sure all the doors are closed properly. The rear passenger doors also feature childproof locks, which can be set to stop the doors being opened from inside the vehicle. To use this feature, open the rear doors and move the lever located next to each door latch fully downward. A battery saver feature protects your battery from running down if you should happen to leave any of the interior lights on. About one hour after the ignition is turned off, if any interior lights have been left on, they are automatically turned off. This includes the reading lights, luggage compartment light and all of the courtesy lights. This feature complements the audible warning that sounds if the headlights are left on after you turn off the ignition. The audio system in your new Ford is protected by another Ford security system. To help deter theft, the system has an inbuilt security code. In the event of theft, or if the battery is disconnected for any reason, the audio system will become unusable until the security code is re-entered. You'll find this code printed on a card located in the glove box. We recommend you keep it in a safe place away from the vehicle. Should you ever need to reprogram the security code, please refer to the instructions in your owner's manual. How's 
to your seat? Is your driving position comfortable? There are numerous adjustments you can make to find the position that's right for you. Because at Ford, we know that driver comfort and vehicle ergonomics not only make for a more relaxed driver, but also a safer one. The power front seat adjustments on LTD are controlled by the switches on the side of the seats nearest the door. To move the seat forwards or backwards, push and hold the bottom switch in the direction you want the seat to travel. Release the switch when the desired position is achieved. Similarly, the height and tilt of the seat can be adjusted by raising or lowering the front or back of the switch in the appropriate direction. This procedure also applies to the optional power driver's seat in Fairmont gear and Fairlane gear where fitted. The upper switch on the LTD front seats adjusts the angle of the seat back. Push and hold the switch in a forward or rearward direction to move the seat back in that direction. Release the switch when the desired position has been achieved. On LTD, the frontmost switch controls the power adjustable lumbar support. Push and hold the front of the switch to increase the amount of support. Push and hold the rear of the switch to decrease the amount of support. Release the switch when the desired setting is achieved. Seat back angle and lumbar adjustment on the optional Fairmont gear and Fairlane gear power driver's seat are controlled manually. The manually adjusted front seats on Fairmont, Fairmont gear and Fairlane gear are operated this way. To move the driver's seat or the front passenger seat forwards or backwards, use the lever underneath the front of the seat on the side closest to the door. The angle of the seat back can be adjusted on both front seats by rotating the wheel that's located on the outer side of the backrest. To provide the driver and front seat passenger with greater comfort for the lower back, both front seats have height adjustable lumbar support. This adjustment is controlled by the two knobs on the inner side of the seat backrest. If you rotate the knobs, you will feel the support become progressively firmer or softer. To help you find a comfortable driving position, the driver's seat also has adjustments for height. This feature is operated by the two wheels situated on the right-hand side of the seat cushion. The wheels adjust the height of the front and back of the seat cushion independently, so you'll find you can not only adjust the height of the cushion, but also control the angle of the cushion as well to improve thigh support. The sash section of the front seat belts can be adjusted to suit your shoulder height. At the anchoring point on the side pillar, depress the catch on the rear facing side of the adjuster. Slide to the desired height, then release the catch. Then just move the adjuster up and down slightly to make sure the catch is locked into position. The front seat head restraints are height adjustable. They can be raised manually or lowered by first squeezing the release button located beneath the head restraint. Rear head restraints, where fitted, can be adjusted by first turning the locking wheel located beneath the head restraint. The position of the steering wheel is obviously a major factor affecting driver comfort. You can adjust the steering wheel for height and reach by pulling down on the locking lever, which is located under the steering column. Pull the steering wheel out or push it in, move it up or down to find the position that's most comfortable for you. Then push the locking lever back securely into its original position. Obviously, this adjustment should only be made while the vehicle is stationary. A number of considerations govern the design of the interior of your new Ford. We wanted the instruments to be easy for you to see and read at a glance. We wanted the controls to be easy for you to reach and operate. And we wanted the overall effect to be aesthetically pleasing. Starting directly in front of you, the instrument cluster comprises a comprehensive range of gauges and warning lights. Please refer to your owner's manual for detailed information about their operation. On the upper spoke of the steering wheel, you will see a horn symbol on each side. To blow the horn, push down on either of these two areas. The buttons that operate the cruise control system have been placed conveniently on the steering wheel. I'll explain their functions later on. Moving to the left-hand side of the steering column, you will find the stalk that controls the windscreen wipers and washers. To operate the windscreen washers, pull the control stalk towards you. You will find that when you use this function, the washers squirt for a preset time and the windscreen wipers operate automatically for a few seconds. Pushing the control stalk up and releasing it will provide a single wipe of the screen. Pushing the control stalk progressively downwards will activate the windscreen wipers. 
The first position engages the intermittent wiper function. You can set the frequency of wipe by adjusting the ring at the end of the control stalk. The frequency of wipe also varies with the speed of the vehicle. As the vehicle speed increases, the time delay between wipes is reduced so that the screen is wiped more frequently. Push down the control stalk one step further and the wipers will operate at low speed. For high speed operation, push the stalk down to the bottom position. The rear window to mister is controlled by the switch on the instrument panel to the left of the steering wheel. A timer automatically switches off the demister after approximately 15 minutes. If you want to switch off the demister before the automatic cutoff, press the switch again. If you have chosen a Fairmont wagon, you will find the switch for the rear window wiper at the top of the instrument panel above the switch for the rear window demister. Fairmont wagon owners should also note that to improve visibility and safety, if the front wipers are working, the rear wiper will operate automatically when reverse gear is selected. Moving to the right hand side of the steering column, you'll find another control stalk. Moving it up and down controls the turn indicators. Pushing the lever away from you switches the vehicle's headlights to high beam. Pulling the stalk towards you momentarily and then releasing it flashes the headlights. The parking lights and headlights are controlled by the switch to the right of the instrument cluster. Next to the light switch is the instrument panel dimmer control. You can vary the intensity of the illumination by holding the knob up or down. By pushing the knob firmly into the uppermost position, you will switch on the interior dome light. On top of the steering column is the hazard warning switch. Push the switch to start the hazard warning flashes. Push it again to stop them. To adjust the electrically operated exterior mirrors, use the remote control situated just to the right of the instrument panel on the driver's door. Turn the knob to select the right or left mirror, then move the knob to achieve the desired position. The power windows are controlled by the switches located on the center console. For safety and convenience, the driver's window automatically lowers completely when the switch marked Auto is fully depressed and released. The centre switch isolates the rear door mounted switches and this prevents the rear windows being opened from the rear seating positions. To help provide year round comfort, your new vehicle has an automatic climate control air conditioning system. The air conditioning unit itself is charged with a more environmentally friendly CFC free refrigerant. The control panel for the system is situated to the left of the instrument cluster. By pressing the button marked Auto, the temperature you select will be maintained automatically. To set the temperature, to press the button marked Temp until the desired temperature is displayed. You don't have to worry about making any other adjustments, and you don't have to reset the unit each time you start the car. However, you can use the Mode, AC and Fan buttons to override the automatic control. The mode button allows you to direct the cooled or heated air to specific outlets. The fan button increases or decreases the volume of air entering the interior. The AC button switches the air conditioning off and on. The button below the one marked AC can be used to rapidly demiss the glass. The temperature outside the car will be displayed when you press the button marked Ambient. If you're operating the system either automatically or manually, you can use the button immediately above the off switch to run recirculated or flow through air. On the occasions when you wish to switch off the car's climate control system completely, press the off button. Or if you would like only fresh, unheated or uncooled air to enter the interior, press the button marked vent. You can control the air distribution by using the thumb wheels to open or close the numerous air vents and by adjusting the direction of the vanes. To the left of the climate control buttons is the trip computer. This will provide useful information like instant and average fuel consumption, average speed and an estimated driving range based on the amount of fuel remaining in the tank. There is also an overspeed function that can be set to warn you if you exceed a preset speed. Refer to the owner's manual for further details. Your vehicle is factory fitted with integrated mobile phone wiring, ready to accommodate a mobile phone. This feature is linked with the sound system to mute the sound when a mobile phone call is made or received. 
Fairlane and LTD vehicles are also supplied with an integrated mobile phone cradle, a mobile phone antenna and integrated antenna wiring. Please refer to your owner's manual or consult your authorised Ford dealer for more information about fitting a mobile phone to your vehicle. Now here's some information to help you gain more driving pleasure by understanding some of your Ford's advanced mechanical features. As a safety measure, your vehicle is fitted with an airbag to help protect the driver against head and chest injuries in certain moderate to severe frontal collisions. The driver airbag is located in the steering wheel and has been designed to inflate when the severity of the collision warrants it. A passenger airbag is standard on Fairmont gear, Fairlane gear and LTD. It is an optional feature on Fairmont. Where fitted, the passenger airbag is located in the instrument panel above the glove box and is designated with the letters SRS. The airbag system does not require maintenance unless a fault is indicated by the warning light or warning tone. We request you read the relevant section of your owner's manual carefully to understand more fully how this important safety feature works. Your vehicle is equipped with an anti-lock braking system, referred to most often as ABS. Please read the ABS section in your owner's manual to see how this system can improve vehicle stability, steerability and in some circumstances reduce stopping distances. The automatic transmission is an advanced electronically controlled four-speed unit with the fourth gear being an overdrive. Most of the time you would normally select D. When you do, gears will change automatically and progressively from 1 to 4 as the car's speed increases. However, there are occasions when you may wish to exercise a little more control. For example, when conditions or advisory road signs demand that you select a low gear to, say, drive down a steep descent, you can move the gear shift manually. The owner's manual has more information about manual gear selection. Another useful feature of the automatic transmission is the provision of normal and economy driving modes. To select either mode, use the switch adjacent to the T-bar floor shift. By selecting normal or economy, you modify the speeds at which gear changes occur. In normal mode, shift speeds are optimised for performance. For better fuel economy in city driving or when towing, select the economy position. A light in the instrument cluster comes on when the economy mode is selected. As you probably realise, you can only start your vehicle with the automatic gear shift in park or neutral. And we strongly recommend that you select park and apply the park brake whenever the vehicle is left standing for any length of time. Cruise control is a feature that makes highway driving more relaxed. It enables you to set and maintain a constant highway speed automatically. Apart from the convenience, Cruise control can result in improved fuel consumption and it's also a way of ensuring you maintain a speed that's within the legal limits. The controls are conveniently located on the sides of the steering wheel hub. On the left hand side you will see the cruise control on off button. When cruise control is switched on, use the buttons on the right hand side of the steering wheel hub to operate the various cruise control features. When you have reached any desired speed over 40 km an hour, press plus set to maintain that speed. If you wish to increase that speed, you can either accelerate to the required speed and then press the plus set button again, or you can press and hold down the plus set button, which will cause the vehicle to accelerate. Release the button when you reach the required speed. You can also press this button momentarily. With each press of the button, the set speed will increase by two kilometers an hour. The button marked minus set works in the same way when you want to decrease the set speed. Say you are driving at a set speed and you want to coast. Simply press the resume coast button momentarily. To resume the preset speed, press the button again. You can instantly disengage the cruise control by depressing the brake pedal. There's more information about operating cruise control in your owner's manual. You'll also find tips on how to drive your new Ford during the running in period and advice on how to get the most from its advanced electronic fuel injected engine, which by the way has been designed to run on unleaded fuel only. You'll also find useful information about vehicle servicing and emergency procedures. 
There's also information about the Ford 24-month 50,000km Express new vehicle warranty and the five-year perforation corrosion warranty. Naturally, the warranties are subject to certain conditions, which are stated in the owner's manual. A word about servicing. The first service occurs at 1500 kilometres. After that, you should adhere to the preventative maintenance schedule at intervals of 10,000 kilometres. An indicator light in the instrument panel comes on to remind you when services are due. For further information or assistance, refer to your owner's manual or servicing dealer. Who best to service your new Ford? Well, who knows Ford's best? Who has all the specialised knowledge and equipment that today's advanced engineering demands? The answer, of course, is your authorised Ford dealer, who, by the way, has already checked your vehicle to ensure that it's as it should be. Should you experience any difficulties or problems, contact the service manager at your dealership. If you need further assistance, speak or meet with a dealership principal. If you need help from Ford, the Ford Customer Assistance Centre is at your service. If you have a Fairmont gear, Fairlane gear or LTD, you're entitled to the benefits of the Ford Prestige Service Plan. These include 24-hour roadside assistance, towing and vehicle recovery service, free emergency accommodation for up to five people subject to certain conditions, free emergency rental car assistance, free medical advice. These special services are available through a special toll-free number which is shown on your personal owner identification card which will be mailed to you shortly after taking delivery of your vehicle. You should refer to the brochure supplied with your identification card for more information about the Ford Prestige Service Plan. Now, in just a few moments, the cassette will automatically reverse to side two and explain the operation of your vehicle's audio system. That was very interesting. I have my prestige card, I still have all the warranty information, and uh, it was very interesting about how everything works. But now, it's on to side two to find out more about my new Ford Fairlane. Whatever kind of music you like, popular, Maybe rhythm and blues. Whatever you prefer listening to, classics, country or even talkback radio, here's how to get the most from your vehicle's audio system. When the radio is switched on, the antenna automatically extends. A switch in the centre of the instrument panel enables you to adjust the aerial height for either half or full extension. This tone will help you adjust the balance and fader controls. The procedures depend on which vehicle you have chosen. For Fairmont and Fairlane gear models, press the knob marked Bass and then pull the knob out all the way to adjust the balance between the speakers. You will notice that when the knob is in the centre position, you feel a slight resistance. That indicates that the sound is equally balanced between the left and right speakers. Similarly, press the knob marked TREB and adjust the fader control by pulling the knob out all the way. In the on-center position, the volume of sound is equally distributed between the front and rear speakers. If you turn these knobs in their normal extended position, you will adjust the bass and treble response respectively. Press the button marked loud to increase the bass response even further when the volume is low. If you are driving a Fairmont gear or LTD, you must use the knob marked Mode to adjust the balance, fade, bass and treble. Press the Mode knob to select the function required. It will be shown on the display. Then turn the knob to the left or right. The adjustment will be monitored on the display. When the desired effect is achieved, release the knob and that setting will be memorised. After a couple of seconds, the original display will return. 
To review all settings, simply scroll through them using the mode knob. To move between AM and FM radio stations, simply press the appropriate button. Your choice will appear on the display. By the way, if you are listening to a tape and want to listen to a radio station, simply press the appropriate AM or FM button. There is no need to eject the tape, it will stay in the unit at the point where you stopped it. To return to the tape, press the tape button again. To locate a station, you use the Tune Seek button. Press it on the left hand side to move down the frequency band and on the right hand side to move up. If you push the button momentarily, you will move up or down in small graduations. If you hold the button down, you will advance automatically to the next station, up or down. The audio system has the provision to store 6 AM and 12 FM preset radio stations. Here's how to do it. Tune in the desired station as we've just described, then press one of the preset buttons for about two seconds. When the station is stored, the display will show the station frequency and the preset number you selected. Repeat this process for each of the other preset buttons. The first six FM station preset numbers can be stored by selecting FM1. The second six by selecting FM2. You can then instantly select the radio station of your choice by pressing the appropriate preset button. The button marked AS is short for Auto Store. It's a handy feature. If you press this button in and hold it for two seconds, the radio will automatically store the six strongest signals on the frequency band selected. This process does not delete your previous programming, which you can easily return to by simply pressing the AM or FM button. What it does do is provide an easy way to find a set of stations when you're driving anywhere beyond the range of the stations you normally listen to. Say, for example, when you're visiting another city. This feature is explained in greater detail in your owner's manual. We refer to some of the cassette player's functions on side one of this cassette. Here are some others that will interest you. Preset button one switches Dolby noise reduction on and off. This may improve the sound quality of some tapes. Preset button 4 controls the music search function. This feature, used in conjunction with the fast forward and rewind controls, advances the tape to the beginning of the next music track. The button to the right of the cassette door enables you to instantly change the tape program from one side of the cassette to the other. Some people wouldn't think of travelling these days without the sound of their favourite CDs. If you have a CD player fitted to your vehicle, the first step is to load up to six CDs in the special magazine, which you will find in either the glove box or in the center console storage compartment. Once you have loaded the CDs into the magazine, insert the magazine into the changer, which is located in the boot directly beneath the rear parcel shelf on the passenger side. On vehicles fitted with factory LPG, the changer is located on the floor pan between the rear seat back and the LPG tank. To gain access to the changer, simply fold down the right hand section of the rear seat back. Next, select the CD function by pressing the CD button. To play a particular CD, press the Tune Seek button to select the desired disc. To choose a specific track number on the CD, use the preset buttons 3 and 5. Both the disc number and the track number will be displayed. To move fast forward or backwards through a track, push and hold down preset buttons 3 or 5 until the desired point is reached. In the Fairmont Gear and LTD, Disc Select and Track Select have their own dedicated buttons marked Disc and TR respectively. To move fast forward or back through a track, push and hold down the TR Track Select button. When you perform these functions, the display will show the elapsed time for the track. To pause a CD, press the CD button. Press it again to resume playing. Other features include track repeat, random play and track scan. Please refer to your owner's manual for a full description. In addition, the audio system in today's Fairmont Gear and LTD brings you all the excitement and realism of digital signal processing. It's a totally new dimension in sound, or rather, five new dimensions. DSP can bring a concert hall to your car, or a jazz club, or a rock stadium, or the sound of music in the wide open spaces. Right now, your system is set to studio. 
What is studio sound? Listen to this. Now press the DSP mode button to select Hall. By the way, you can enhance or reduce the DSP effect by rotating the outer ring on the DSP control. Now get ready to experience the elegance of a majestic concert hall right inside your car. Press the DSP button once more and get ready to host a rock concert. bass response from your system, adjust the BHS control button. You can read all about it in your owner's manual. Also, check out the position control, which allows you to adjust the sound inside your Fairmont gear or LTD according to the wishes of the occupants. All of these audio systems also have a feature called keyless one-hour play. It allows you to listen to the radio, play a cassette or, where fitted, a CD for an hour without the ignition key. At the end of that time, the unit will turn off automatically to help prevent the battery from running down. We hope you have found this cassette useful, and again, thank you for choosing a Ford. We wish you many years of happy motoring and hope you enjoy the following music selection. That's uh, the owner's cassette for when you purchase one of these vehicles brand new from the uh, dealership. They uh, they come with all the owner's manuals and all the lovely little little bits and pieces. So um, if you've never ever heard one of these, uh, cheers. Uh, this has been uh, car maintenance. This has been checking out the new audio cassette that comes with your brand new Ford Fairlane in 1996. If you've seen anything you like in these videos, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget if you have any comments, questions, or things I can be doing better in these videos, leave it in the comments field below on YouTube. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button. Get notified when I do these. Car maintenance videos, my daily vlogs, Urban Explorer, What's in the Box. I do lots of videos, so just hit that subscribe button. And until next time, see you in the next video.